We have heard about red dwarf, white dwarf, red giant, quasars, black holes, planets and a variety of space bodies. But have you ever heard about brown dwarfs? Yes, today we will discuss with you about brown dwarfs and what will happen if Jupiter became a brown dwarf. Welcome back, this is Signature's Life. A brown dwarf is a type of substellar object that has a mass between the most massive gas giant planets and the least massive stars, approximately 13 to 80 times that of Jupiter. Unlike main sequence stars, brown dwarfs do not acquire enough mass to trigger sustained nuclear fusion of ordinary hydrogen into helium in their course. If Jupiter became a brown dwarf, what will be the result? Jupiter's diameter is in fact larger than that of the smallest star at 1,40,000 km against 1,21,000 km for the tiniest star. However, it is mass, not size, that counts. This determines the internal pressure that, if sufficiently high, can overcome the mutual repulsion of hydrogen nuclei and convert these to helium through nuclear fusion. This releases the huge amount of energy that makes stars shine. If a large cloud of interstellar gas came Jupiter's way, maybe the planet could gain enough extra mass to start fusion. Fusion would be short-lived if it became a brown dwarf, an object midway between star and the planet. If it accreted even more mass just enough to become a true star, it would be a dim red dwarf. Its radiation would barely affect us and wouldn't look very different to now. A bigger worry would be Jupiter's increased mass, disrupting the solar system, not to mention the raised temperature of the Sun as a result of its capturing most of the gas cloud. The smallest known stars are red dwarfs, EBLMJO 55557AB, which is about 600 light years away, is the current record holder for the star with the least mass. It is slightly smaller than Saturn and has about 6.4% the mass of the Sun or about 70 times the mass of Jupiter. Exact figures are uncertain, but calculations suggest Jupiter would need to be 80 times as massive as it is to turn into a small red dwarf star. Another possibility, though, is a brown dwarf, which is a kind of half star. This isn't massive enough for ordinary hydrogen to fuse into helium as in most stars. Instead, it uses the rare hydrogen isotope deuterium. First predicted by theory in the 1960s, several brown dwarfs have been found. Faint objects emitting mostly infrared radiation. It is estimated a brown dwarf needs to be about 13 times the mass of Jupiter.